What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and uh, back with a good one for you today from Mars. This is from the Curiosity rover and uh, we've got a couple good things on here. This is one of the Molly Cam shots. I tell you what, I'm getting more luck out of these um, accidental upside down shots that this little uh, camera on the end of the rover arm has been taking that I am with some of the mass cam shots with the color, nice color shots that come from it. But it seems we've got some sort of cave entrance here. We've got some really crazy looking, almost looks like a garage, uh, like a can or the trash can top or something like that we'd have here on Earth. Uh, it's a disc of some sort. Um, it almost looks like it's not exactly round, but kind of rounded. I think it's more like a rounded off uh, square. All sorts of good stuff when you're walking into this. It looks like what we have to be an entrance to a cave that's been... Uh, that's been filled up with sand. Here you've got, as you go in, you, you've got some uh, intricate, look at the uh, statue pieces here. This one's like a ribbon. Down here you've got what looks to be like a face you'd find right out of one of the Mexican pyramids here on Earth. Um, some very interesting things on this picture. Let me show you where we got it from and some of the other things involved in it too. It's also some, this isn't it. There's some other stuff all over this picture. It's got good stuff. And I've got it turned. How? Let me show you how we got it. Let me go back to the... Here's where you get the picture from. It's just a, uh, you know, it's from the Molly cam. And what I've done was just flipped it. And basically here it is. Let me pull back out. Here it is right here. And I've basically been souped it up a little bit. But let me show you how it comes from. That's how it comes from NASA. You can see that the stuff's still there. It's just not as bright. And what we do is basically turn the, uh, turn the, the fog off, the, the haze that NASA puts on all its pictures that, at least that's what I like to call it. It's it's pretty pretty apparent and pretty obvious. It doesn't take too much to make uh, you know to clean this stuff up, make it look like this, or just cleaning it up. Here's a good black and white of it right here that I was able to get, um, and just up through the through the registers. This piece right here definitely look out here. We've got some real interesting. Let me go ahead and get it to one that I like the best, and we'll keep it at that for now. Oh, sorry guys. Sometimes I like going through those register colors too, though. Okay, I'll leave it a little bit darker. Hopefully you guys can see all that. Um, so we'll start down here with the, uh, you know, let me go up one more. You know, we'll use that for right now. Look at this piece right here. Look at the square. It almost looks like it's got one, and it looks like a little tablet that's got little square circle it's squared off it's got little circles in it that are uh almost looks like a dice or something like that here you'd find on earth uh, i'm not sure how big this stuff is like i said they don't really give scale especially with these because most of these this camera is usually taking pictures really close of stuff so if you like look at the molly camera pictures in the you know the rest of the days usually they don't look like that let me see here false forward. all right here we go so yeah they're, they're usually not like that um Usually they're up close on things. Now check this out too over here. Now I'm wondering if this was something that the rover shot the laser at. If not, this is pretty cool. Um, either way, it's almost like it was. It picked this one out of something. See the little shots here? There's one, two, three. And around it there seems to be some more interesting stuff. So that's what makes me wonder maybe it's not shot by the laser. Because see how this is standing out on top of it? You can see it's a little shadow under it. See the shadowing here, the shadowing here. So this is up above it. Maybe these are actually sticking off of it. A very interesting uh, piece of land here. I tell you what, we haven't got a real good up close of this stuff with any of the other cameras. That's why I, uh, sometimes I think we find the hidden stuff in those images. They leave it for us to find. Now, there was some other stuff in here that I was looking at. If you go through this and look through all these little debris here, it really is like Uncle Jake's junkyard. Something came down here and destroyed this stuff. And it's not much. It doesn't take long to see that this is, uh, you know, remnants of something. It's not standing there today to where we say, oh, that's remnants of this, this, and that. But whatever it is, uh, it was had to have been intricate. I mean, look at the shapes of some of these. Here, here you got that. See if I'm tracing with my mouse there more circle type uh, figures. Check this out. That looks like we've got some writing on top of a piece of metal or something there. See that? That's pretty cool. I haven't noticed that before. Let me see what happens when I lighten it up. Yeah, it's definitely there. Um, it could be in the rock or something like that. Here we got some uh, pretty shiny stuff. Let's see if that actually comes out a little bit better. 
if I switch it. Nah. Now let me go back over and look at this little entrance way here. Because I showed you the rest. Well, here again, too. Look at this right here. This is a perfect square. Squared off nicely. It looks like it's got either crack or something coming down. And, but here we go. It comes up, and it, that's not 90 degrees, but it's definitely a rounded off angle. Interesting. It looks like it could have been a part of something, part of a building. Who knows? Um, it's all speculative here. What we do is definitely speculate. It's one of your first videos. Uh, if you haven't watched me, I've got about 500 of these videos that, that show stuff just like this. You know, stuff that's out of place to me. Um, and most of the viewers, I think, eventually have come to the conclusions, hopefully, that uh, at least we can both, both of us can merge on this stuff shouldn't necessarily be on Mars with what we've been told in our history books. You know, um, there's a lot more that everyone's been told in different cultures that aren't in the history books. So out here on the horizon, we got some little interesting things. Um, what is the horizon? Because up here, it kind of comes up into the, into the hill and... Interesting enough, there's little uh, little marks and stuff in this here. I'd love to see what if there's anything buried under there. And I'll just come back over here and take a real good look at this piece right here. Um, okay, so let's just say this was an entranceway to something. It would have been carved out. It you look like this <laughs> this would be how it would be moved out. Um, are moved apart something I wish we could get a little bit darker in there or lighter in there but that's about it before it just starts looking like total fuzz and uh, I'm gonna leave that one up to your guys' heads but you can see that it's pretty much you know it's almost like something's been cleared back through here about the same width the whole way up now whether that's just uh, what it looks like to me in my head or would that happen you guys be the judge here I'm gonna do this up one more Look at like the little spears here. This this piece to me just sitting here. I've been looking at this for a while. I've been meaning to make these videos. I got a couple other pictures to make videos of. I got so many pictures right now that everybody has sent. I'm so far behind. Springs here in the United States. I've been really busy, starting to come in. So you know, get make sure everything still works, mowers and all that good stuff. And here you've got these perfect uh, like these angles that you don't really see. They're just curved off it's just interesting um this tier too looked like something that was just right out of like i said just right out of a mexican or not mexican like a, a south american pyramid or something along those lines where you'd have this like i'm trying to think of the one at the 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 gate the sun gate or so the uh the one down there in the old mayan tomb the the sun god or something like that it was right above in the center of that big piece that slab that was all one piece and there's a crack in it now gateway to the sun i think it was i've seen so many of those i should know it i've seen so many of these uh documentaries and stuff on all these but this little piece here too also kind of stood out to me just kind of looked carved now you can't tell if it's part of this back piece as well like this is just all one piece here not too sure, but because the colors, let me just throw it on black and white. Um, there's no like distinction between here, so you don't know if that's part of this piece or part of that piece, but either way, it's kind of cool. And we got this little circle anomaly right here. I mean, that to me is like, okay, what's going on? You can even see the little slots in it. It's got one, two, three, four, four little slots. It actually looks like it's got something standing right in front of it. And it's got a, well, it's got a shadow, whatever it is. Um, I'm run through the registers. Yeah, I didn't notice that before. See that right there? Whatever it is, it almost looks translucent. But whatever it does, either it, well, it's got a shadow because here's a dark mark just from pixels missing, and then uh, there's that. And I wonder if this here is from some pixels missing because that's a pretty interesting mark. If not, either way. But anyway, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the first one coming back. we got a lot more to look at. Download this one for yourself. If you hit the website up, this is going to be an article where all this will be the uh, enhanced stuff. You can, All these will be in actual picture form. You can download them to yours. What's up in the sky.com. The forums, I came back to the forums. I haven't been using it. I said I've been uh, so busy lately. I came back to the forums, and there was so much stuff going on. I was just like, this is awesome. Oh, yeah, that, that's not doing it the way I'm used to because... I'm just doing something really fast. You know what? Let me try it like this. Just for giggles. I want to lighten this side up. Mode. Adjustments. Uh, we're going to do it from right here. I just want to brighten it for us. Just to get to see if we can pull out anything else in the background. 
It's amazing how dark that actually is. Now let's go back in and see if we can pull out anything else. Yeah, see, it's just too too garbly. But there looks to be something. I tell you what, my face feature things are starting to say, oh, that looks like a face. This looks like a face. My eyes just do that. I always try and stay away from that. And you guys know me, know my videos. I, I try to stay away from the faces. But interesting stuff. Now, this little thing right here, I didn't notice before, is sitting here in the middle of it. Just a rock or something fell over. Our little guy peeking his head up and out or says, is it okay? Is it okay? Can we come out now? All right, guys. Much love to you. What's up in the sky? 37. Good to see you. It's been a little bit. Stay tuned. There's lots more to come. Peace. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video and have your annotations turned on, just click on the video below you wish to watch or check out the what'supinthesky.com website by clicking on it below.